boy talks are an opportunity to excite boys about the possibilities of joining scouting. The key there is to pique their interest in two minutes or less. The attention spans of boys is very short, and you don't want to take up a lot of the classroom time from their daily learning sessions. Schools are under a lot of pressure to get student test scores raised, and anything seen as a distraction to that goal will be frowned upon by the teacher. Besides, you'll have so many classrooms and schools to visit; it will be almost impossible to get to every classroom if you take up too much more time than the two minutes. The other thing to remember about boy talks is it usually takes place at school in the classroom with the permission of the principal. Sometimes you'll have to work around the school schedule, like their lunch hour. This is a great way to send the message home to inform parents of the opportunity for their boy to join scouting. You have to make sure your message is filled with excitement, so that the boys will remember to tell their parents or guardian about the upcoming meeting. Once you have done your two-minute enthusiastic presentation, you leave flyers behind for the boys to give to their parents to remind them of the upcoming meeting. The flyers will be a recap of everything you told the boys. On it, it should have the time, place, location within the school, like the cafeteria or library, and a small taste of information on scouting. A contact number is always a good idea to have on the flyer in case someone cannot make the meeting. Sometimes you will find the cost to join on the flyer as well. Make sure your message on the flyer is very simple and easy to read and understand. Give the boys a challenge when taking the flyers home. Suggest that they perhaps put it under the milk, or maybe even tape it to the cell phone, or putting it in a very special place where they know their parents will see it. Most of the boys will take on this challenge, even if they don't want to join scouting. There are three key people in the school you have to win over: the principal, the principal's secretary, and the janitor. The principal is the decision maker, so we got to get to that person, and we get to that person through the principal's secretary, which is the gatekeeper. This is the person that can get you on the schedule to see the principal. Then you have the janitor. Who runs the building? They have the power to make sure the building is unlocked when you need it. Sometimes all the paperwork is not done properly, so they can get you through those tough moments. There are many different ways to do a boy talk, in several different settings. You want to make sure that you do your boy talk in a style that is comfortable to you and exciting for the boys. Participation or interaction with the boys is the essential key element. At the same time, you have to maintain control. There are three different types of boy talks you may be allowed to do in your schools: the traditional class to class, where you walk from one class to another doing your two-minute presentations. Then you have your assemblies, where the school personnel will gather all the boys in the cafeteria or auditorium, and you'll usually have anywhere from ten to fifteen minutes to get the boys pumped up about scouting. Sometimes you can use a five-minute video clip as part of your presentation. This can also help you manage the crowd. Last but not least, you have your outside recess or lunch. This is an opportunity to set up a campsite, Pinewood Derby track, or something to catch the interest of the boys. From the kindergarten to the fifth grade or Cub Scouts, it's a good idea to wear the uniform. At that stage in their life, the boys are intrigued by the uniform. Boy Scouts, which are sixth grade and up, are usually too cool for the uniform, and it can work against you. Peer pressure has a lot to do with that. A Class B Boy Scout polo shirt will usually do the trick. This same type of polo shirt will work for venture age youth as well. Just like the dress code should be different for the different age groups, so should the boy talks be different as well. In Cub Scouts, you can act goofy and clown around some. But for the Boy Scout and Venture age groups, you want to more or less inform, educate, and challenge them. Most boys in the sixth grade and up, peer pressure has a lot to do with how they will react to your presentation. This will also influence if they will show up to your back-to-school night. Props and visuals are always good to have on hand while doing boy talks to show the boys some of the activities that they will be doing. 
Some things you could consider bringing are Pinewood Derby cars, finished and unfinished, badges, pictures, fishing poles, and anything that you might be doing that you can get your hands on. It is important that you are ready to handle the girl's concern about not being able to participate. You can be proactive and tell the girls the message you have to share is for the boys only. However, if they have a brother or a cousin or a family member that may want to join, then they can give them the information as well. Some people will bring the phone numbers of the Girl Scouts, where others will do the presentation with a Girl Scout rep. Realize that this will come up and you'll need to be ready to deal with it. Be sure that whatever promise you make in the classroom, you're able to keep it. The boys have long memories. You only have one chance not to come through before they will begin to walk away. Also, some schools may not want you to talk about certain activities scouting does, like guns and rifles. Anything you say that might be somewhat questionable, make sure you clear it with the school and our council. There are plenty of ways to have boys engaged and excited doing your boy talks. I like to call these hooks. Hooks are the different methods you can use to capture the boys' attention doing a boy talk. Log on the internet and check out the site youtube.com slash cpd videos. There you will find samples of boy talks. Depending on your history and location, you may find yourself blocked out of some or all of your schools. First thing you want to do is visit the school personally yourself. You are new and you should treat every school as if you have the opportunity to do the boy talks. A change in staff such as the principal can make all the difference or maybe even your approach to the situation. A lot of times everything depends on the relationship you build. However, boy talks can be done in places other than schools. They can be done at churches, recreational centers, housing complexes, anywhere where there are boys assembled you can do a boy talk. You want to make sure that you thank everyone for allowing you to do your boy talk presentation. That would be the teachers, secretaries to the principals, the principals, vice principals, janitors, anyone who had anything to do with you being there, you want to make sure you thank them. This will only make your job a lot easier the next time around. Practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the better you will be. Do a two-minute boy talk. Ask for feedback on how you did. This practice will increase your confidence, work out the bugs on your boy talk, and make sure you're ready for your target audience. The boys will know if you're prepared or not. It will be something they sense. It is our job to give every young person the opportunity to be part of scouting. The way we do this is by tapping into their spirits and make them feel like this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Boy Talks is the bridge to their scouting future.